Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. We're given three squares and it wants to know what is the green area. And it's giving us the area of this blue square is equal to 12. If you wanna try this on your own, pause it right now because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. First up, let's focus on this blue square. It has an area of 12, which means the side lengths are each gonna be square root of 12. And this is gonna be in the way, so let's hide this label. And then for the green square, we don't know the side length, so let's call that X. And let's also get rid of this area label. And for this last square, let's give it a side length of Y. Next, let's construct the diagonal of the larger square and the diagonal of the green square. And let's label these angles A, B, and C degrees. First, let's focus on A and B. This diagonal splits this larger square, which means it's breaking this angle up into two 45s. That means that A plus B is gonna be equal to 45. So we can write A plus B equals 45. And we can do something similar with B and C. This diagonal cuts the green square into two pieces, which cuts this 90 degree angle to a 45 and 45, which means B plus C is gonna be equal to 45. So we can write B plus C is equal to 45. So now let's look at our equations. Both of these are equal to 45, so we can set them equal to each other. And if we subtract B from both sides, we end up with A is equal to C. And that looks important, let's bring it up here. So first, we don't really need this B anymore. And we know that C is equal to A, so let's replace this C with A. And after all that work, we now know that this angle is equal to this angle. Let's focus on this entire triangle. It's a part of this larger square. In fact, it shares this angle, which makes it a right angle, and it also shares this side, which means that has a length of Y. And the blue side doesn't really have anything to do with this square, so let's switch to the other square. This is the diagonal of this square. This square has side lengths x by x, which means the diagonal is x times the square root of 2. And now we can enjoy all the things we know about this triangle. Next, let's go to this triangle. It shares this angle with this square, which means that this is also a right angle. And it also shares this portion of this side, which means this portion of this side is square root of 12. And it also has this portion, which is equal to x. Let's add these together to get x plus root 12. And last, I want to figure out the blue hypotenuse of this triangle. Well, it's the same thing as the diagonal of the largest square. And this square has side lengths y by y, which means the diagonal is y square root of 2. And now let's enjoy all the things we know about this triangle. We know something about all three sides, so let's do the Pythagorean theorem. It's x plus root 12 squared plus root 12 squared equals y root 2 squared. For this first piece, we can use the notes of a perfect square trinomial and I'll break out into x squared plus 2 x root 12 plus 12. And then square root of 12 squared is equal to 12. And then on the right hand side, root 2 squared is equal to 2 and y squared is equal to y squared. Next, we can combine like terms. 12 plus 12 is equal to 24. And I'm not sure what to do with this, so let's put a box around it. Next, let's bring back our other triangle and let's copy them both down here. And let's take the smaller one and rotate it up here and let's reflect it. So now these two similar triangles have the same orientation. And the reason that we know these are similar triangles is because we have two pairs of congruent angles. And since they're similar, we can set up a proportion. We can do top over bottom equals top over bottom. So it'll be y root 2 over x plus root 12 equals x root 2 over y. And then we can cross multiply. This will give us y squared root 2. And this will give us x root 2 times this stuff. To clean this up, let's divide both sides by square root of 2. On the left-hand side, these will cancel each other out. And on the right-hand side, these will cancel each other out. So we're left with y squared is equal to x times this. Let's distribute this x. x times x is equal to x squared. And x times root 12 is equal to x root 12. And I'm not sure what else to do with this, so let's bring it up here. So we know that y squared is equal to all of this stuff. And we have a y squared right here. So let's copy this down. And in the place of this y squared, I'm going to plug in all that stuff. And next, let's distribute the 2 to both of those terms. 2 times x squared is 2x squared, and 2 times this is equal to 2 times this. Next, I'm noticing both sides of the equation have 2x root 12, so let's subtract 2x root 12 from both sides. So all this is going to cancel out. Next, I want to move this x squared to the other side, so let's subtract x squared from both sides. And 2x squared minus x squared is equal to 1x squared. Now we know that x squared is equal to 24. And x squared is equal to the area of our green square. So the answer to our question is 24 square units. Let's put a box around it. How exciting.